I'm introducing this video on a cold February day in southern Ontario. This week marks an exciting development for the residents of Amherst Island and the thousands of visitors who make their way there every year. Following major construction works in recent years to build new docks for the ferry, the time is fast approaching for a new ferry to begin service. The Amherst Islander 2 arrived this week at the other end of the ferry run on the island. Although she was launched in 2019, it wasn't until October 2021, after fitting out and sea trials, that she reached Canadian waters after a long trip from the Romanian shipyard in which she was built. Her introduction into service has been delayed by many factors. The work to build the new docks it made it challenging to operate her with pre-existing infrastructure. And the pandemic made finding, training and preparing people to service her crew difficult, especially when it came to recruiting marine engineers. In a moment, the Frontenac 2 will take us across to the island and provide an opportunity to have a look at the new ferry. I hope you find it interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you think of her after watching this video and if you like this kind of coverage of local events please consider subscribing to the Aerosnapper channel. Thanks for watching. Before we look at the Amherst Islander today we might like to remember how she looked in October 21 approaching Iroquois Locks. But now it's time, as the Frontenac 2 approaches the dock in Stella, to catch our first glimpse of the Amherst Islander 2. One of the first things that you may notice about her is that her accommodation and her bridge are all towards the starboard side. This and the position of the exhaust stacks suggest that her engines and generators are all on the port side. The presence of crew around safety equipment suggests preparations for service. These views of her spacious deck will perhaps give you an idea of how she's going to accommodate 42 vehicles and up to 300 passengers. The new ferry has state-of-the-art navigation and safety equipment and can cope with ice depths of up to 60 centimetres. She shows great promise and should be more than capable of maintaining the standard of service set by her predecessor for more than 60 years. And I'll close with a brief look at that predecessor serving loyally today.